I think that right now I, I'm living through what's going to go down as the worst decision of my life. I homeschool my daughter. I don't recommend that at all. She is always home. <laughs> she never leaves. I don't get weekends off, summer breaks, teacher institution day, none of that. And I'm her teacher, so I'm expected to teach her stuff that I didn't care about when I was in high school and I still don't care about it. You know, it's like A squared plus B squared equals, who the hell cares? A squared. <laughs> In British literature, I give not a damn. <laughs> I try to act like I don't know that she's cheating and Googling her answers. I'm like, um, just don't let me see it. I'm gonna go in there and watch General Hospital. You just finished that test. <laughs> Parent-teacher conferences suck, man. Her mother's ambivalent about her education. It's probably gonna end up in trade school or something. <laughs> I mean, I Trade school was a good idea in theory. You know, you pick a trade, you go, you learn only that, and then you move on with your life. Good idea in theory. They forgot something. They let you pick your own trade, and they don't give personality tests. You know, if you are a former gang member, you should not be working in customer service. <laughs> For some reason, all the little thugette girls want a career in the medical profession. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Don't do it, please. Don't do it. I went to the doctor, and I walked up. The girl was like, who you repping? <laughs> Excuse me? Who you rolling with, Blue Cross Blue Shield? Aetna what? <laughs> oh, insurance? Yeah, I ain't got none. I had to get some blood work done. I went and sat down and put my arm out. The little flim bodice hopped up, wrapped a uh, belt around my arm and started tapping. <laughs> when she couldn't get a vein, she's like, take off your shoes and spread your toes. <laughs> like, damn you trade school. <laughs>